Actor Alec Baldwin is facing legal trouble stemming from the deadly shooting on the movie set during production of the film Rust. Baldwin was holding the gun that went off during a rehearsal in 2021. Marcella Bayetto joins us now with the very latest. Marcella? Prosecutors say both Baldwin and the armorer who oversaw firearms on the set of the Western film Rust are being charged with involuntary manslaughter. Now, a Philadelphia based criminal defense lawyer breaks down the legal implications and says this is a very unique case. Actor and producer Alec Baldwin and film armorer Hannah Gutierrez Reed each facing two counts of involuntary manslaughter. In October 2021, Helena Hutchins was shot and killed on the set of the Western movie Rust. Just because it's an accident doesn't mean that it's not criminal. The Santa Fe, New Mexico district attorney insists safety was disregarded during production. There were live rounds on set. They were mixed in with regular dummy rounds. Nobody was checking those, or at least they weren't checking them consistently. And then they somehow got loaded into a gun, handed off to Alec Baldwin. Baldwin maintains he did not pull the trigger. Philadelphia criminal defense lawyer Fortunato Perry Jr. says this is one of the most unusual cases he's seen. From a defense perspective, they're going to have to, you know, prove that he was, uh, you know, unaware under any circumstances that there was a live round even on the set. The DA says not only negligence, but recklessness was behind the cinematographer's death. It was the totality of the circumstances that this was a really fast and loose set and that, that nobody was doing their job. There were three people that if they had done their job that day, this tragedy wouldn't have happened. The film's assistant director, David Hall, signed a plea agreement and will not face further charges. Baldwin has repeatedly denied responsibility. His attorney saying this decision distorts Helena Hutchinson's tragic death and represents a terrible miscarriage of justice. An attorney for Gutierrez Reed says his client has committed no crime. Perry says both Gutierrez Reed and Baldwin could face time in jail if found guilty. You have to look at the facts of the case and the background of the defendant, but he's certainly exposed to, you know, potentially a couple of years in jail. Helena Hutchinson's family released a statement reading, It is a comfort to the family that in New Mexico, no one is above the law. And prosecutors say they will formally file charges by the end of the month. That we will, of course, continue to follow developments in the case against Alec Baldwin. When we're not on TV, though, we're always online at CBSPhiladelphia.com and streaming too at CBS News Philadelphia. Now, Baldwin and Gutierrez Reed face up to 18 months in prison if they are convicted. You can just. The story is so sad. All so sad around. from every angle. Exactly. Yeah, it just, really oh, is. Thank so you. thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it.